selfless work on the cross of Calvary thank you for the scars hands and legs thank you for the stripes on your back but which you bore upon the scourge of the Roman soldiers the crown of thorns placed on your head thank you for the cross Many of us are living our lives without the manual of the manufacturer. You don't know how meaningful your life will be until you know Jesus. The Zoe is the very life of God. The life that God planned for you. Hello? The very life that God planned for you. I have confidence that I can live above sin. I can live above adultery. I can live above stealing. I have confidence that I can succeed in this my business. I have confidence that I can make it because the life I now live is the life of optimism in Christ. It's a life of confidence in Christ. In 1 John chapter 5 verse 4, it says, For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. Hallelujah. So if Jesus said, I have overcome, and in 1 John chapter 5, verse 4, he said, whoever is born again, whoever is born of God, overcomes the world. It means that the life Apostle Paul is now living, that he wants us to live, that God wants us to live, is the life of who? An overcomer. Because he that is born again, he that is born of God, overcometh the world. From now, which kind of life do you want to live? Will you want to say, like Apostle Paul, the life that I now live is the life in Christ. Is the life of truth. Is the life of holiness. Is the life of righteousness. Finally, I want you to say, God, as I eat of the communion, as I take of the flesh and the blood of Jesus Christ, may I begin to live the life of Christ. He broke it. He gave it to the disciples saying, This is my body which is given to you. Eat and live. You may eat the bread. According to the law, the Bible says, Without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. So he took the cup in his hand. He gave to them and said, Drink. This is my blood of the new covenant. Drink and live. 